Hey there, Restaurant Pros. It's David Scott Peters, and welcome to episode 92 of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. I've been coaching restaurant owners since 2003, and the Restaurant Prosperity Formula is based on what the most successful restaurant owners I've worked with do on a daily basis to achieve their success. The basic premise of the formula centers around achieving prosperity, freedom of your restaurant, the financial freedom you deserve. To achieve prosperity, you have to follow a very specific formula made up of leadership, systems, training, accountability, and taking action. Today, we delve deep into the sacred texts of Restaurant 101, exploring the alchemy of perfect meal temperatures, the sanctuary of our dining havens, the ballet of exemplary service, the craftsmanship behind an unforgettable product, and the finesse of the now indispensable to-go experience. Together, we will uncover the blueprint of systems, training, and the soulful art of hospitality that transform a simple meal into an incredible memory. Let's get started, but first, a word from our sponsor. We all know managing costs is one of the most important parts of running a profitable restaurant, especially now. But between fluctuating vendor prices, waste, labor, and the never-ending list of tasks that demand your attention on a daily basis, it can be challenging for even the most experienced of us to manage costs well. That's where Margin Edge comes in. Margin Edge is a complete restaurant management software that automatically uses data from your POS and invoices to show you food and labor costs in real time. Don't wait until it's too late. Margin Edge gives you tools to make decisions in the moment like a daily P&L, price alerts on key ingredients, and real-time plate costs, all without ever having to touch a spreadsheet. Take control of your costs, work more efficiently, and be more profitable. Go to www.marginedge.com forward slash DSP to learn more and schedule your demo today. In the heart of Restaurant 101 lies the mastery of the elemental truths that form the cornerstone of our industry. It's about conjuring culinary magic that ignites the senses, crafting sanctuaries that stand as a perfect example of cleanliness and safety, and weaving a tapestry of service so seamless it becomes the backdrop for stories unfolding at every table. This journey transcends the mere act of eating. It's about creating a stage where moments become memories, where every bite is a verse in a poem of dining together. On a basic level, it's hot food, hot, cold food, cold, clean, safe work environment for your guests and employees. Wow, customer service, incredible product, and now to go. This podcast is going to take a deep dive into this topic and what it takes to execute Restaurant One on a high level each and every day. Behind the scenes, our systems operate with precision of a clockwork orchestra. In the kitchen, the rhythm of the line checks ensure every dish sings with flavor while meticulous prep routines are the rehearsal for the nightly performance. Ordering and inventory systems balance the scales of abundance and prudence, and our food safety protocols stand as vigilant sentinels of health. In the front of house, the choreography of service unfolds. A robust point of sale system orchestrates the flow of orders like a, a maestro, while seating arrangements and service steps are the dance of hospitality. The mantra of no empty hands ensures a ballet of efficiency and purpose, all under the watchful eyes of supervision, the directors of our daily performance. In other words, systems are critical in the executing of Restaurant 101. Systems like checklists to ensure your standards are met and the guests notice nothing. Systems in your kitchen to ensure the guest gets the same product every time, such as line checks, solid prep, ordering, inventory, and food safety systems. Systems for the front of house, such as a great point of sale system, seating charts, steps of service, the idea of no empty hands in or out of the kitchen, great supervision, and much, much more. Training is a crucible in which steel of our team is forged. It begins with structured initiation, where new hires are not just taught their roles, but are inspired with the spirit of our mission. The commitment to excellence is the flame, the flame that is kindled anew each day in our pre-shift gatherings, where the team is aligned and the standards are set. Training is our vow to perpetual growth, to never let the sun set on an opportunity be better. 
To do this, you need to have formal training systems in place for all new hires for every position, not the standard just follow that person as the form of new hire training. Training should happen every day at pre-shift for both front of house and back of house teams. Training should take place for new menus and new equipment. You need to make a commitment to continual training for you and your team. Consistency is the inspiration that guides the guest experience, ensuring that each visit weaves seamlessly into the next. It's in this unwavering quality of service steps, the steadfast cleanliness that, that whispers of care and the readiness for each shift that ensures we are always a beacon of hospitality. Checklists, portion controls, plating guides, and recipe costing cards among a laundry list of systems. These are the sacred scrolls from which we preach the gospel of consistency. With consistency, you impart onto your guests that they can trust you. They can trust that you'll deliver the same dining experience each and every time they visit, ultimately exploding your sales. Hospitality is the art of making them, well, your guests feel seen, heard, and valued. It's the thread that weaves through every interaction from the pristine front door that welcomes them to the warm greeting that makes them feel expected to the attentive service that anticipates their needs with needs without intrusion. Every detail is a note in the symphony, a symphony of their experience, the one that you want to impart on them, the one that drives them back over and over and over again. It's in this perfectly paced walk from door to the table, the thoughtful questions that invite them to share their stories and the seamless service that ensures that their connection remains unbroken. Hospitality is about ensuring that the only thing our guests need to focus on is the joy of their company. Examples of great hospitality experience would be that front door and walkway are clean. Upon entering, your guests are greeted and seated immediately. The host doesn't run fast right to the, from the front all the way to the table. Rather, it's paced. Staying connected with the guests, asking the guests questions. Is it your first time here? Uh, what did you do today? Are you having a great day? Staying connected all the way through. Your servers have to make sure they follow the steps of service and greet those tables and take their drink orders within the first two minutes after being seated that the guests aren't going, am I going to get served? Am I going to get served? And stop their conversations and break their connection. Orders are repeated back before the server leaves the table. And position numbers are used. Not only is it do we repeat back to make sure that our guests understand that they heard and we got it right, but the position numbers ensuring that there's a perfect delivery when their food's ready, that we're not auctioning off food. Hey, who's got the, who's got that? And we have to break connection. Instead, it is simply put in front of the right person, no matter who delivers it. The server needs to mark the table with steak knives or soup spoons. If, a, if either of those things were ordered, sodas, teas, coffees, right? Waters, non-alcoholic beverages should be replaced with a full drink without being asked. The check needs to be dropped off and picked up in a timely manner. The guests are thanked and invited back before they leave. The guests notice nothing but each other's company the whole way through. Their connection was never broken. When they exit your restaurant, they should look at each other and say, what a great time they had. And we should come back here again because you anticipated their needs and met them for them without them ever having to stop their conversation with each other to worry about and notice you. Instead, they notice each other. That's great hospitality. As we close the book on today's journey through this, the heart of Restaurant 101, let us carry forward the understanding that our work is about much more than meals. It's about moments. Through the diligent application of systems, the commitment to continuous training, the pursuit of unwavering consistency, and the delivery of soulful hospitality, we create more than just dining experiences. We craft memories that linger long after the last bite. 
Thank you for joining me on this path to restaurant prosperity. Until next time, may your kitchens be joyful, your tables full, and your guests ever eager to return. Hey, that was an awesome episode. I wanna thank you for taking the time to take action on building a better, more prosperous restaurant. Before you go, I wanna give you these three thoughts. One, by combining leadership and taking action with systems and training being checked by accountability, you are on your way to creating prosperity for you and your restaurant. Two, I have something I need from you. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you happen to listen to podcasts. By leaving us a review, other restaurant pros seeking out this information are able to find it. I read the reviews and hearing how this information has benefited you does wonders for me. And three, if you find any of the discussions helpful, share them. The more restaurant pros who have access to them, the better we become as an industry. For more restaurant resources or to get in contact with me, connect with me at davidscottpeters.com. Be passionate about what you're doing. Be persistent, but more importantly, become better and help everyone around you become better. And your restaurant is going to kick some ass. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, I want to make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run. With these trained and responsible people in place, you can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free training course that teaches you exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.